Hello, this is a 2003 Buick Century. I'm going to remove the rear seat cushion on the bottom, the rear seat cushion on the back, and the front seats. In order to clean them, I have a vacuum that I'm gonna use as a wet dry vac, although I have a different type of vacuum. This one works pretty good, and I can just exhaust all the liquids out the back of this one. Um, I use Meguiar's. It's the only carpet cleaner, upholstery cleaner that I find that cleans extremely well and doesn't leave a nasty residue. This car, as you can see, is kind of filthy, dirty, and disgusting. And the previous owner obviously uh, didn't pull these things out to clean them. And you can put a lot of water on these things, but the first trick is how do you get them out? Well, the simplest one I should cover first, and that's the fronts. Okay, so all you have for that is a 15 millimeter socket, and you just simply remove these. They pop right out. I recommend you have a Ziploc bag, and you stick all your parts into a Ziploc bag, and you can even stick your tools in there and put it off somewhere so you don't accidentally vacuum them up or lose them, and you have to take off this one same thing all right so that comes off you also have these on the uh, manual seats you have these little screws Phillips heads all right so those are fairly easy to remove on Ford Tauruses and some other vehicles they're very difficult to get off and back on they have metal clips on the bottom but these are pretty easy so again just take your screws put all that stuff away this is the electric seat. So you can see you have a metal uh, plastic clip here. You're gonna have to take this off. This goes into the bottom. This other part goes up into the top. So you wanna disconnect this, but you don't wanna disconnect it until you're done. Getting all the parts out. These clips here, these plastic clips don't remove. They come off with the seat. Unlike some cars, this back comes off the front part is easy to remove I might need two hands to do that so I'm gonna put all my parts inside here I don't want to lose them and uh, let's see if I can get this thing off okay and you see how I've just pulled that right up in the front there's clips but you don't have these things bolted down so they just clip in all right you can see right here where they clip in okay so they're fairly easy to remove you take this thing and lift it up pull it out of the car I can do this with one hand holding the phone, but I'll give it a try. Oh, I forgot. You gotta take off the seat belt. Okay, so you have this plastic piece you have to slide up. Again, that's a 15 millimeter. Good idea to Stick it in your plastic bag so you don't lose it. And now you should be able to get the seat out of the car. I'm gonna have to do this with two hands though. So I'm gonna put it down here. Maybe catch some of this on film. Obviously you don't wanna scratch up the car while you do it.
and sorry about that. All right, so now you see the seat's been completely removed. That's the manual seat. And I've got it out here in the sun where I'm going to put on a tremendous amount of this carpet cleaner. And I'm gonna spray it thoroughly. is an indoor type of foam and it will dry up very well. show you how the Meguiar's works. You can see all these stains, all this coffee and stuff that's spilling out there. I'm just using the Meguiar's. All over the whole fabric, headrest, all of it. cans of this stuff for about six bucks a can at Walmart. show you how to take out the back seat that was only half a can on the other one by the way I'd already used that on the uh, format so you let this stuff soak in you can see how it's kind of breaking up all that coffee stain a car and sell it and add hundreds of dollars worth of value to a car people will say oh my gosh it's like brand new again yeah it's like brand new put that stuff on there scrub it in with a plastic scrub brush and, you know let the cleaner really do its job all right so that's about half of that can so it's about one can per seat Here was the fun part, and that was trying to figure out this back seat. Back seat was not easy. All right, I'm going through the whole video here because some of the other videos I've watched were worse than useless. People didn't really bother to show what it was they were doing. All right, so I've already taken this off. You can see here's the back seat. All right and you see that there's a area for a clip in there and then there's this metal clip now the easiest thing I can tell you to do to find this clip and the location for it is to take a screwdriver like this and then reach the screwdriver in and you'll hit that clip and you can mark it on your carpet here with a piece of tape come back the other direction and you'll hit that clip and then you know where it is and you do the same thing on the other side, all right? And then what you're gonna find is that's the metal clip. And on one of these things, I'm gonna try and show you the inside of the clip here. The metal clip sort of pushes down into that space and gets locked. And I was not sure how to get it off. 
So I ended up just pulling it. And on one of them, it broke some of the plastic on the inside. And the other one, um, the whole clip just came off with it. So in one case, this clip is basically just gonna go back in there, okay? So pretty much just goes right back in that spot. And then this thing pushes down into it. And so some of the videos I've seen, this thing came up off with it and I was looking for how to push it and release it, but it's that's really not what's supposed to happen. This thing's supposed to stay in the spot. Okay, which direction does it go? Well, pretty obvious, that's the part that's the front. So that goes here. since this one's the one that broke it's really not staying in there as nice as it should you push it down all right and be careful you don't push it down too hard you'll push it down into that space there you could obviously go grab another one of these things that pick and pull pretty easy or even go practice this so this clip gets pushed down into there and the only way that i was able to get it off was literally muscling it and just pulling it off so I put this screwdriver in on the side and then I just leveraged, leveraged it up and popped it off. Not all cars you want to do that. Apparently on some of the other Buicks, there's a little tab that you can pull here and there's a different kind of a release. But again, this is the Buick Century 2003, whatever generation of car it is, I think it's like 98 to 2005. All right, so this is gonna go the same way. I'm gonna take this thing out of the car and you can see this type of foam. It's an indoor foam. It does not absorb water. Outdoor foam, uh, I got that wrong. This is an outdoor foam and it doesn't absorb water. So when cars flood, uh, this stuff can be dried out. But certain types of indoor foam on your couches and other furniture, they soak up water like a sponge and they can sometimes never release that water. So the same thing with that, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna spray the heck out of it. All right, now you have the back seat, okay? How am I gonna get that out? Well, that's where you got a 10 millimeter socket and you just take these things off. There's only two of them. already loosened, loosened both of these and I have not taken the seat off of this vehicle yet so I'm not sure how it's going to go off. I no longer need this, I no longer need these so I'm going to take them and put them inside of the Ziploc bag. Take all my tools. 